Uh, hey there guys, I am going to go over uh, getting a point cloud into Revit. I know we went over this in class, but this is what really interests me about VDC is taking existing um, existing conditions and putting them into a model so that you can work with that and uh, build off of those. Um, so I'll start with how to get a file converted to the right file format because you have to have either RCP or RCS file format in order to get that into Revit. So you'll want to open up um, Autodesk Recap, you'll hit New Project, import, uh, import Point Cloud, and then it'll ask you for a name. I'm just going to call mine Tenant Office Improvement or Tenant. Office, and then you'll select the location to save that file. Where I got mine selected, and then hit proceed. And then you'll want to um, open up select folder to import. Go to the, where it's located, and you can either um, I'll select files to import that folder. You can either drag and drop, or you can use these buttons up here. Um, so I'm going to select a file, go down and find, I download the XYZ file that was provided to us on iLearn, and then it will just import that. And that might, might take a little bit. Okay, so that didn't take long at all. Um, the next thing you'll do is say index scans. And then I'll just come up with this screen. It's indexing the scans. And I guess it's this that may take a while. So I'll uh, pause and catch up when it's done. All right, so that took about eight minutes for me. Um, next step is to say launch project. Come up, take a couple seconds, and then go to, you just hover over your home button here, hover over this arrow, and come down to this button here, it says export, you click that, and it'll pop up with a dialog box, um, let's see. And then you can select which file format you want. I'll just do RCP. I'll put it select where you want it. And then the name. Yes to that, unify, and then it will go ahead and export for you. Should be pretty quick, but I'll pause. Okay, so that only took a couple minutes. Um, next, so this, so now this is saved in your folder. It's ready to be imported into um, Revit. It's in a platform that you can put in that. So the next thing you want to do is open up Revit. Um, if you don't already have a project going, you'll go to File, New, Project, and then select whichever template you want. In this case, I've selected um, Architectural Template. And then you just go here to the Insert tab. It says Point Cloud here. Click that. Select the file you want. Double click it and it'll just plop it in for you. Um, then you can go to 
It's 3D view. You can see you got your whole thing there. And you've got your first floor plan here. A um, couple hints, as suggested by our professor, if you hit BB and change, or BR, sorry, BR to go to view range and change that so that you only have the objects that you want to see. You put it at the bottom at four feet, I'll do four foot six, and that way I'm above all of the desks and furniture and stuff, and then put our cut plane at say seven foot. And that way, okay, and that way you, you have a nice view of just your walls here. And you'll have all, all the furniture in the way. Um, as far as getting in mind to make sure that it's in the right spot, you, you can actually use the geometry to put accurate model components in. Um, first thing is to make sure that it's squared up and I'll hit the uh, detail line and I'll just draw a vertical line here and then move it over so that I can see if that is, if the important point cloud is squared up properly. Which looks like it's pretty square. So I'll delete that, get that out of my way. And then I'll go to um, section up here, draw a section view through this and I'll change the view depth on this. I go to properties. And far clip offset, I'll set that to one inch so that it's the minimum amount, a minimal amount so that we can see just a straight line. Which be so then if you open up that section, now you can see, I'll have to change your detail of the line. Now you can see the profile of that point cloud. You can see that this one imported um, with the floor a little bit low, lower than our level one there. So if you just select that, say move, and this is why we wanted to take that part that offset on the section view to a minimal amount so that we have a fairly straight line here. If I hadn't done that, then we would have a lot of detail here and wouldn't have a very accurate line to work with. So then you just find kind of a point along here that seems like it's a an average height, you select that and you move it up to your level. And now that's lined up horizontally, lined up or lined up vertically, lined up horizontally and squared, and you're good to go. And at, that, at this point, you could delete the section or just hide it. Um, the age for on the high. And you're good to go. Now you can do WA for wall, and you can start throwing a wall in here to draw over the existing geometry. You can put whatever you need into your model to, for the existing conditions, and then you can adjust it in the future. And that's what you got.